This is a deal that we're really happy with. We're really proud to be able to recommend this to members. They've had a, a long, difficult few years, as we all have with COVID. New details about the tentative agreement between the union representing British Columbia's 49,000 public school teachers and the province. The BC Teachers Federation says it includes increased health benefits, prep time for elementary school teachers, and wage increases, up to $13,500 more a year for teachers at the top of the salary grid. Over the course of the contract, uh, it will be a significant pay jump. Uh, for the average member, they're going to see their pay uh, catch up to colleagues across country, as I said. At the top of the scale, we're going to be on a par with or, or just ahead of our colleagues in places like Calgary and Toronto. But there's skepticism. BC teachers really will see their pay catch up to those in other cities. There definitely is a salary improvement for teachers, um, and it's supposed to bring us at par, if not better. Uh, but my understanding is that Ontario teachers are still bargaining. And so what does that look like? If they, get, if they gain, uh, certain BC teachers will still have not achieved across Canada. Burr says while there are a lot of great things in the tentative agreement, it doesn't go far enough on working conditions, especially when it comes to specialist teachers who she says are not replaced when they can't come in. We're already in a very populated uh, school district. Class sizes are already full. And so when you have kids that have needs and teachers not being replaced, it has implications. Jason Ellis, an associate professor of educational studies at UBC, says it's surprising the agreement doesn't address class size and composition. That's the issue that has caused um, a great deal of controversy over the past, I mean, 20 or more years in BC education. And so, um, you know, the fact that it is not addressed uh, or it was not an issue in, in this round of negotiations it is quite striking. But in other ways, it's not surprising because their members, like everyone else in the province, is going to have to deal with inflation and what inflation does to to real wages. Johnston says the BCTF wasn't able to get the employer to budge on class size and composition. That's uh, definitely a frustration. Uh, our members need those workload conditions improved. Teachers will vote on the deal later this month. In Vancouver, Monica Gould, City News.